Knowing how to find the perimeter of a rectangle is a helpful skill in everyday life. After working your way through this lesson, you will be able to define perimeter, recall and apply two formulas for finding the perimeter of a rectangle, and solve word problems involving perimeter of rectangles. Let's start with perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around the sides of a polygon. A rectangle is a two-dimensional polygon with four straight sides. It has opposite sides congruent and parallel. That means it will have two lengths and two widths. To calculate perimeter in general, you simply add up the lengths of all the straight sides of a polygon. For a rectangle, that means adding four sides. Here is the equation. P is the perimeter and A, B, C, and D are the lengths of the four sides. Rectangles are interesting, though, because they really have two pairs of two sides, two lengths and two widths. So instead of writing out P equals A plus B plus C plus D, you can combine terms and multiply. This changes the equation to P equals two times length plus width. Perimeter is always expressed in the same linear measurement used for the lengths of sides. Here we have a rectangle with four vertices. D, U, C, K. Sides D, U, and K, C are congruent and parallel. Sides D, K, and U, C are also congruent and parallel. That is why you only see two dimensions on the drawing. If side K, C is 17 feet, then you know side D, U is 17 feet. Since side D, K is 8 feet, you know side U, C is 8 feet. Let's plug our numbers into the longer version of the formula first. This gives us P equals 17 plus 8 plus 17 plus 8. So our answer is P equals 50. Now let's try the other formula. P equals 2 times 17 plus 8. Remember, we always do the math in parentheses first. Doing this gives us P equals 2 times 25, which equals 50. P equals 50. See, both formulas give us the same answer. Because the formulas for rectangle perimeter are so easy, they often form the foundation for word problems, like this one. Cindy is decorating her science fair poster and wants to put a decorative ribbon around the edges. Her poster is 36 inches long and 24 inches wide. How many feet of ribbon does Cindy need? This is a classic word problem in math. Let's boil it down to the important parts. Number one, the poster is 36 inches long and 24 inches wide. Number two, it is asking us to find the perimeter of ribbon expressed in feet, not inches. First, we find the perimeter using one of our formulas. We can plug the numbers into our longer formula. But for this example, let's use our second formula. P equals 2 times 36 plus 24. This becomes P equals 2 times 60, and our answer is P equals 120 inches, or 10 feet. Cindy needs 10 feet of ribbon for the perimeter of her poster. Now, let's try a harder one. You may find a perimeter problem using algebra, where you have to find unknowns. Here's one of those. Rectangle BRAG has a perimeter of 96 centimeters. Side BR is 3x minus 4 long, and side BG is x plus 5 wide. What are its measurements? You can still use both formulas, but you must simplify along the way. Combine like terms, subtract 2 from both sides, and divide. Using our first formula, it looks like this. Now let's try our second formula. Now you can plug 11.75 centimeters into the x values and check. 3x minus 4 becomes 
3 times 11.75 minus 4, which equals 31.25. And x plus 5 becomes 11.75 plus 5, which equals 16.75. Using our first formula, we get p equals 96 centimeters. Now, let's try our second formula. And we get the same answer, p equals 96 centimeters. Do not lose your unit of measure as you work through the problem. All perimeter is measured in the same linear unit you used for each side. 